welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Sean. I'm back for another video. In this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to create a blog using Wix.com. But whether you're trying to create a blog, a website, trying to start a business or an online store, Wix is a great place to start. Now, throughout this tutorial, you'll see me utilizing the many functions and features available on Wix. For the most part, it's pretty straightforward and user friendly. So if you don't know how to code, no worries. You won't need to as long as you're utilizing Wix. So like I said, I'm going to jump right into it in just a minute. But if you guys want to find out more about them, be sure to click the link below if you want to create your own blog or your own website. And huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. I genuinely appreciate it. Without any further ado, let's get to the tutorial. Whether you're starting a blog to express your passion or to create some profit, Wix is a great place to start. If you're using your blog to create or build your business, Wix is perfect because you can set up or create a subscription plan, you can create ad banners, you can monetize with ads, you can even set up pay buttons where your uh, viewers and your readers can buy your merchandise, whether it's ebooks or a tangible product. But I'm going to be using it today to create a blog. Now you could use the ADI to create a website for you or you can edit your project yourself yourself, which is what I wanted to do. So here's a look at what some of the blog templates look like on Wix right now. Really a gorgeous templates. As you guys see, they have so many of them, page after page of blog templates. You can always customize it as far as like if you have certain brand colors uh, to make it a bit more your own and make it a bit more unique. So I like this blog template right here. This is the one that I'm choosing to edit. So once it starts to load and configure everything, here is the template that's ready to edit. As you guys see, there's a lot on here and I'm going to go through what some of these do. But right up top, it says the desktop version and the mobile version, which I really like being able to switch back and forth to see what the different versions of the site that I'm editing look like on both devices. That's a nice added touch. So up on top of the far left corner, you have the pages section. Now this is where you, if you want to add more uh, pages to your blog, you can do that. You can add an about me page. You can add a contact me page. You can add book me for services. You can even sell your eBooks and merchandise directly from a page on your blog. So up next, I'm going to show you guys how to actually create a blog post. You're just going to go to blog pages. You're going to click the post button. And once you do that, it's going to ask you to add a catchy title. You're going to type up your post. It could be however long you want it to be. And you're going to go to upload media, upload from computer. You're going to select the perfect blog image and you're going to click open. Then you're going to click on the add to page button and it's going to pop up as a part of your blog. Just click the publish button when you're ready to make your blog post public. Now to see what your newly created blog post looks like on an actual phone, click the switch to mobile icon and then it'll pop up on a phone. That way you can kind of see what the user experience is like to the mobile visitors of your blog. So next to my blog, I wanted to edit this section which says, hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to change this image because that is not me. <laughs> then I'm going to click on the upload media and then the upload from computer. I'm going to select an image that I would like to use and then I'm going to click open, then change image. Image. And then once my image pops up, I'm going to have to crop it. And that is this little icon up here. And once I've done that to kind of make it kind of my own, and then I'm going to type in a new paragraph explaining what my blog is all about underneath. And once I've done that, I'm on to the next task. I'm just going to edit this text really quickly. I'm just going to highlight it. I'm going to select a different font and just type it in. So next I'm going to be adding a text box so people can comment underneath the post. I'm going to go to add and then I'm going to embed and then I'm going to this little plus sign right here to add to site. Then this little HTML box will pop up. I'm just going to drag it and drop it. Then I'm going to copy and paste some basic code that I found online just to make a very simple text box. Then I'm going to click update. I'm going to slightly widen the box so that it'll be big enough for people to leave comments inside. Next I'm going to make sure that I save my progress and then I'm going to click the preview button button to see how everything looks online. So now I wanted to edit the home page. The first thing I did was click the background. I wanted to opt from the stark white to something a little bit more soft, a bit more feminine. So I went with this color. Then I clicked the add button because I wanted to change the strip. And I looked at a couple of different options, but I wanted to find one that I thought really complemented the overall flow of the blog so far. And I opted for this one. I knew I could change the color. So I just went in, edited the color. I liked this. I kind of went back and 
forth between a few of them but I like that they all complement each other so they kind of give you some suggestions for some colorways that work well together next I'm going to click on the change image button right here and I'm going to go to upload media and then I'm going to select an image I chose this one because it works well with the color scheme that I have going on and then I'm going to choose the image and then that's going to pop up I'm going to have to crop that so that it'll fit perfectly and once I've done that it's time to change the font you can even embed HTML code that way you can add things like music maps images and you can also take advantage of their advanced SEO tool which will help to increase the visibility of your blog through different search engines and you can even take advantage of their membership area where you could really create and cultivate a sense of community with your viewers Next, I'm going to share with you guys how you can repurpose content and cross promote at the same time. You're going to click on the add icon and then you're going to go down to my Instagram. Once you connect your Instagram to your blog, it's going to give you access to all the images on your Instagram. And that way you could just click on these and add them to your site files. Once you do that, you can promote your Instagram on your blog and your blog on your Instagram. It's a great way to make use of the content. If you need it twice, shoot it once. Okay. So next up, this is what I was saying earlier about you being able to create a members only section of your blog. Okay, so set that up, all you have to do is click the add button, then you're gonna go down to the members area and click add to site. It's gonna take a little bit to configure everything and to populate the page, but once it's done that, you're gonna be given this login bar right here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on set up login bar. As you see, there's several options available. You could do the profile pic with the member's name, just the profile pic just the member's name, whatever you want to do. I prefer the, the profile pic and the member's name. You can also edit the login. You can change that to say sign in or sign up. You can also change where it says log out. And you're going to click this right here and you're going to choose between who can see your blog, everyone or just the people that you invite. This is important if you're doing like a paid subscription and this is something that people have to pay for. Now as far as social, you can also have it connected to, they can sign in through Google or sign in through Facebook if you would like to do it that way. And Finally, on the policy tab, this is where you're going to find the privacy policy and the terms and conditions. Now you can actually edit the member card as well. You just click on it and once you click on it, you're going to be given the option to customize it. You can change the layout, you can add badges, you can change the profile picture from a circle to a square, you can even change the options available on the menu bar right here. You can add or take away, it's whatever you want to do to customize this area on your member profile page. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make this members only area private. First you're going to go to pages, then you're going to click on this blue button that says add page. And then you're going to edit this text from new page to whatever you want it to say. For the purpose of this, I'm just going to say members only. And then you're going to click the blue done button. And then when you do that, there's going to be three dots in a circle. You're going to click on that and then you're going to hit the settings button. And then you're going to go over to permissions and then you're going to click on members only then you're going to select either you want this available to all members or if you want it to be only to uh, selected members or those who are paying customers it's up to you so now I'm going to share with you guys how to make a custom login page you're going to go to add then you're going to go to text and then you're going to type in login or sign in or sign up however you want to say it I just have a login then you're going to scroll down to input so that they'll be able to have something to type this into I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to right click to copy it and then I'm going to paste it so that I'll already have it set up. And then once I've done that, I'm going to click on settings and then I'm going to change it from text to email because you want them to enter their email and then you're going to change this. I'm going to tell them what I want. I'm going to change from add your name to enter your email. And then I'm going to go do the same thing for the other one, click on settings. And then this time we're going to need a password. I'm going to click on password. And then I'm going to change this here to say, enter your password. And then I'm going to scroll down just a little bit more to where it says required, because you definitely want to have a password be required. So next we're going to need a button for them to click. So I'm going to go to add, then I'm going to go down to button. I'm going to select a button. I'm going to choose this one here. I'm going to drag this down a little bit and I'm going to edit the text. 
Next, you're going to click on change text and icon and you're going to swap out the word button for enter here or sign in here, whatever you'd like. So that's how we do the member login. This is the member sign up. You're going to go to add sign up and login member sign up and you're going to switch it from default to custom form. Then you're going to click on the blue add to site button and that's going to configure and of course it's going to pop up with a very sort of templated um, look, but you're going to customize this. I actually want to get it on the same color scheme that I have throughout the blog so then I click on design and that's gonna give me a whole bunch of examples and I'm kind of going through this and I ended up finding this one which I thought went really well with my existing color scheme so then I'm gonna click on input fields because that's the color I want the input uh, input fields to be as you guys can see and then I'm going to edit this text right here to again trying to match the overall color scheme that I got going on so I'm gonna go with a different shade so really quickly I'm just going to change the color of this submit button and then I'm gonna check it out and get a little preview of what it looks site online. So next I'm going to share with you guys how to use the SEO tool. You're going to click these three dots, then you're going to go to SEO Google. Once you've selected that, you're going to click on the go to SEO Wiz. Now this is Wix's uh, system that helps you to be more searchable to help your blog be found on different search engines. So once that configures, this is going to pop up. You're going to click on the start now button. You're going to enter the name of your website. And then you're going to hit next and then you're going to let them know if you have a physical store or just an online presence and then you're going to put in three keywords you're going to break up those keywords using commas that way you'll separate them and then you're going to ask it to create an seo plan it's going to configure and then it's going to give you a personalized plan with a checklist so as you see from me scrolling a couple of these things have already been completed but i'm just going to show you guys how this is done so you're going to go to one of the things on the checklist and you're going to click on the blue button that says go for it and once you do that you're gonna copy what it's telling you to copy and once you do that it's gonna tell you exactly where you're gonna put this it's also gonna let you know why that's important like why this is going to increase the searchability of your blog but it gives you a little bit of a tutorial directions for where you're gonna copy and paste and that's what I'm gonna do so I'm copying this and I'm gonna show you guys where I'm gonna paste it so I'm gonna give it a second to configure and then this page is going to pop up. I'm going to click on the menus and pages. Then I'm going to click the little three dots right here and then go to SEO. Once I've clicked that, then I'm going to scroll down according to the directions that it gave me. I'm going to uh, paste what they told me to copy here. So I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to make sure that I scroll up here to the top right hand corner and save that. Once I've done that, then I'm going to go back to the original page just to make sure I'm going to click the refresh button. And once you refresh, we get a check mark because that means we've already done that step. You can go back in and do all the other steps that it recommends for you to do with the SEO. All right, so next I'm going to show you guys how to do categories and tags. You're going to go to your dashboard, you're going to go to the blog section, and then click on categories. And then you're going to go to this blue new category area and then you're going to make sure that you type in the category in all caps it could be whatever you want um, and then you're going to type in a little description about what that category is Then you can also add an image I'm going to go to upload media and then I'm going to upload from computer and just take an image from there you're going to grab it you're going to click open and while that's processing, I'm going to show you guys quickly how to add tags to tag the images that you're using or the image that you use. Over to the right, you're going to scroll this little toolbar down a little bit and you're going to see the tag section. You're going to click the down arrow and it already sort of populated some things. It's got like sky, it has denim, it already has some things street fashion. You can add some other tags to this if you would like to, to you know, help your um, particular post be easily found. And then you're going to make sure that you save all of this by clicking this blue save button and that's that's your first category. Now, for this particular blog, I wanted the category for fashion. I also want one for lifestyle and for travel. And you do the same thing. You can just add the images as you start creating the blog post. This just helps the user get a better experience because no matter what they're into, everything is categorized for them and sorted out by the different topics. Next, I'm going to share with you guys how to add editors and writers. You're going to go to the settings section, then roles and permission, and then you're going to hit the invite people button. Now this is for anything that you need that's back end, whether it's admin, website manager, um, whether it's billing, but if you have like a guest writer or a co 
co-owner of the blog you can just click on them and then you're going to scroll back up and then you're going to type in their email address and then hit the send invite button now depending on the role that you give the individual that you're inviting to how much or how little access they'll have to being able to manage the blog here you can also go and you know schedule and have a separate page for events if you're hosting a meetup or a brunch or like a book signing or something like that you can add a PayPal button and you can even set up an e-commerce store through Wix this is awesome if you're trying to make your blog profitable you can link everything that you're wearing your dress your shoes your sunglasses and you can have all of that linked through your blog that's a great way for you to make money with your blog using Wix e-commerce you can also create coupon codes and you can create an email campaign like if you wanted to you know let all your viewers know that a product was on sale or that you had a course that was going on sale or a course that was launching that's a good way to drum up business for uh, your website or for your blog as well now keep in mind this isn't just tangible products you can also use this for courses ebooks and one-on-one -on -one consultations as well so this is the finished product here is a look at the blog that I designed through Wix that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to thumbs up if you did now you guys were able to see for yourself how seamlessly I was able to navigate their website like I said in the beginning it's pretty straightforward it's a lot of drag and drop you still need time and patience and you're able to get it done anyway that is pretty much it huge thank you to Wix.com for sponsoring today's video I genuinely appreciate it and if you want to create your own blog or website using Wix.com I recommend it so go ahead and click the link below so you guys can go ahead and do that and that is pretty much much it. I love you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Till next time. Later, Davis and dudes. This is honey.